We just made that jump. You just bridged it. Fasting, immune system. Jay had set, started this whole thing that began the dive of where are we even looking at? So like someone's saying that these are the issues and you're, you're over here saying, look, we got it down. Yeah. What are some steps that people could be taking, I guess, and start identifying and knowing where to go and how to get some resolution? So the best way is to do a macro criteria assessment. That's what I was just telling you. Because okay. everybody's immune response is going to look different. There's, there's like 14 kind of common symptomatology that you could have, but someone might have seven of those. Another might have six of those. A mother, you know, the, and the, you're not basing this on lab work, right? Like what yeah, the white yeah, blood uh, uh, Man, this is, this is where, again, some of this, some of this is still proprietary and that we're about to release sure, that's um, fair in, to say. in my yeah. apprenticeship and my university. You can learn about some of it now, but, but some of it, the markers and the things that we put in, the amount of money that I've spent to research this, we, we, some of it we keep a little bit close to the hat in hand. But what I can share for you and the thing that, that we know for, s for certain that we're waiting for more research, but we've done over 10,000 Dutch tests. We're one of the largest supplier of Dutch tests in the country. And what we can tell you is that we know for a fact that if you look at a Dutch test, and you look at your etiocalanolone number, your beta, your beta uh, dominance. So how are you metabolizing your androgens? Because etiocalanolone, androsterone is, the, is actually the hormone you build muscle with, not androstenedione. That's how it breaks down. Right. Androsterone is how you build muscle. Well, you can look at that on a Dutch test, which is a urinary hormone test. Okay. Amazing, yeah. Right. And I've been championing that before anybody I was. Know, you're the one who turned me on. Dude. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. What if your body is leaning very beta dominant mm -hmm. in its detoxification of hormones? It means you're having m metabolism impairments because of immunological activity. So etiocalanolone is the uh, um, the uh, end hormone byproduct of too much immunological activity. So if I look at somebody and they're having a lot of these symptoms I'm talking about, the swelling, brain fog, all that, and their, their etiocalanolone's high, I know their immune system's really active, or meaning that they're beta dominant. The androgens that they make, they break down into etiocalanolone instead of androsterone. That means that's the immune mediary is etiocalanolone. So I know the immune system's active. Now that doesn't mean that I know that it's the main driver. So what I do is I normally run the normal things that I would do, and if it gets rid of it, then I don't worry about it. But if it doesn't, I know that it's OID. Yeah. That's, how, that's the truth. And, you know, I mean, I've seen this in practice too. Um, Aria, uh, my fiance, you know, she she she's a, was a natural competitor when she got her pro card in for years. And when we finally met, she had no hormones. And uh, we did a Dutch, and she was all to the left on the, on the beta, like just boom. She couldn't lose weight. She couldn't lose weight. And when we did get her to lose a little bit, when you compare picks from the prior years, it was a lot of muscle. And so, you know, we ended up doing a lot of the things that, you know, you talk about that I, I learned and, and heard from you. And that was one of the first times I think we used some semaglutide with autophagy work and, and fasting and everything worked and her body just works normal now. And so that was the first time I saw that beta and I saw it in someone and how puffy she was. And I was like, man, what's going on here? And I think I might talk to you about it one time. I was like, I keep seeing this and. Yeah, that yeah. That went on that a few yeah, times. Yeah, like I keep seeing this. And so <clears throat> it's, a, it's an interesting uh, part. But you're saying you don't have to go at it right away because you don't know if it's 100% OID. But you might be able to work the case and it starts to metabolize back to healthy once you boil the stress down. Yeah. But it could be an indicator that you got to go deeper with the for, case, for right? Example, for example, there's something called molecular mimicry. So if I have a cold or flu or if I get a little bit of like an allergy flare, um, if I were to do an autoimmune panel, my ANA, which is anti-nuclear antibodies. This is a, um, a test to see that if you have antigens with uh, there's certain nuclear DNA strands and the way that they're developed, the shape of the protein is more anti-nuclear antibodies. So these are things that are going to be looking to attack your DNA. Um, you can do that test. Anybody can do that test. Check out practitionerdepot.com to get your lab. It's called the uh, tier one autoimmune uh, panel. And you can just do, it's only like a hundred tier one. Uh, it's, it's a basic autoimmune panel in case you want to check for rheumatoid factor, sediment rate, stuff like yeah. that. Like basic stuff. It's only like 190 bucks. Yeah. So it's a good way to, you know, yeah. get a test. If you order the test, it emails you uh, a script that you just go to lab court and, and get it done really easily. Um, but you can get a, a false positives. 
right? So you, so your immune system could be bumped up for a couple of reasons. You could just be going through a breakup, but if it doesn't calm back down, it's because it's now it's super pissed off. Like long haul or COVID you kicked it off. It's super pissed. And now it won't calm itself down. So that's why the, the medical world has been looking trying to figure out, well, how do you actually calm the immune system down? That's what we figured out there. The immune system, because it's in every single system, you have to have a process to knock out inflammation in the systems. Mm -hmm. And if you do that really quickly, and we can do that within 12 weeks and it's still there, then we know it's the immune system. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we have to go after it particularly and we have to we have to starve it out. That's part of how you do it. Now, there's many other steps to it. Um, I don't want to people to if, if people listen to this and they don't try to calm it down first and they just jump into fasting or they jump into caloric restriction, you're just going to flake the it's shit out of muscle. 100 percent. Right. Your 100%. semaglutide ain't going to do it uh -uh. like people think semaglutide was what we're doing. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead and give any of these people semaglutide. See how far that gets you. Nowhere. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen it. They've come to me and. Nothing. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. So that's why I'm telling you what we have is truly revolutionary. Um, and we know how many lives, the lives that we're liberating right now, the lives that, li that Jason's liberating, um, the medical system has no clue how to solve because they don't know how to use, they don't know how to use nutrition and they don't know how to get inflammation out of organ systems, not using medications or anything like that to help clean it up and balance ROS, calm the immune system down. You've got to calm it down. That's why women's ANS is like they're they're always nervous, they're always tense because their immune mm -hmm. system is stressing your central nervous system out. Yeah, their nervous system is hard. One of the one of the strongest things that'll tell you oh, like someone's about to get sick is if they got random anxiety. Like that was one of the big ones for COVID was anxiety. Well, why? Mm -hmm. Because the body's at dis ease. It's the, it can tell the immune mm -hmm. systems up, and it's the nervous system's ringing the alarm, but you don't know what the problem is. So it just seems like random anxiousness, nervousness, the immune system's upregulated. And then when you calm the, all that infl inflammation down, guess what? The anxiety drops. Makes and you'll see it all the time, right? And so then your catecholamines calm down because the body's not on alert anymore. Which means they can begin to unwind the screw. They can be able to unwind, you know? But once again, like you, <clears throat> the way that your body gets rid of unwanted bad cells in the body that it can't get rid of. It uses a cellular function called autophagy. Now, some people, many people have genetic SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphisms. That means that like when a gene was put together, like one of the base pairs was off. So now you got this weird gene. So the gene doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It'd be like getting uh, instructions from Ikea and it didn't put, tell you how to put the base on the thing. Right. So every, every cabinet you make is fucked up. Mm -hmm. Right. So there are genes for autophagy. There are genes for the immune system and there are genes for how your body produces energy and doesn't release ROS detoxes. and detoxes those pathways. You're going to want to, you can, if you want to really prevent this from happening to you, you should do like our pro seven gene tests on practitioner .com and just make sure you optimize, you take supplementation or dietary lifestyle interventions that prevent your body from getting buildup. And if you know your genetic profile, you can navigate that pretty easily and it'll help maybe avoid some of that. Is stuff. that certain things like, you know, I know I have an MTHFR. Is that yeah. like, you know, taking the, the SAMEs and the methyl, those methyl are the things you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So find out where your trimethylglycine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so those can help a lot too. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the most important thing for people to know is that if you practice uh, annual, uh, if, you're, if you're generally healthy, uh, I think if you do, you practice like once uh, a season, maybe it's you do it for two weeks or four weeks, um, and you practice something like either like OMED, which is uh, one meal a day, or you get yourself into ketosis, or you regularly train, but don't overstress your body. Um, or you practice what I do is spiritual fasting. Um, you can induce accelerated autophagy in your body and go through a cellular cleaning. <laughs>